guilty as charged. Roger Stone, breaking news. Roger Stone, guilty on all seven counts. Brought upon, brought to him by uh, Robert Mueller in Russiagate, right? Russiagate lives on today, right? Roger Stone, screwed. Oh, oh, man. Trump hasn't released any information yet. So this is breaking news. Roger Stone filed guilty on all counts of federal, in federal trial. Uh, Roger Stone made the, the outrageous, the, the incredible allegation that he was in direct contact with WikiLeaks and Julian Assange in, in the summer of 2016 leading into the election of Donald J. Trump. And he was, him and jo- Jerome Corsi and others were communicating and getting the inside scoop and having inside communication. Lie, 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 lie. He lied like a rug. That's who, that's who Roger. That's who Roger Stone is. He's a charlatan. He's a con man. Right? And every con man, every every dog has their day. Right? He just it's like he overplayed his hand. Right? He was trying to be the big inside operative, right? and we know for sure. Right? If you know anything about the early stages of uh, RussiaGate, is that Roger that that Seth Rich, the alleged uh, uh, the. 80, 90 percent sure uh, he was the leak, and not no Russian uh, operatives. Uh, that Seth Rich would have never, never communicated with some idiot like Roger Stone or some, you know, some Republican charlatan kook like Jerome Corsi. Uh, no way. Uh, these guys, first of all, again, Seth Rich, a Bernie Sanders supporter, saw the corruption. Made it, re- reached his hand out to WikiLeaks, gave WikiLeaks the stuff. Julian Assange released the stuff accordingly, and that is the story of RussiaGate. There was no Russia. There's no hack. No none of that shit, right? So, nonetheless, Roger Stone, uh, as the story is now confirmed, uh, we could believe it because that's what he did. He he did. Roger Stone did what he did, which is lie uh, about his engagement uh, with WikiLeaks about his engagement, his inside scoop. He had the inside scoop. He's going to tell you what, what Julian Assange is going to dump next. His inside man, right? I've been there. I was at, I was at the embassy. Uh, he's just a fucking big liar. So let's look at some of this. Break it down. Here's the breaking news from Fox. A couple of minutes. Let's watch. Uh, originally accused of lying to Congress about attempts to communicate with WikiLeaks. Uh, tampering with witnesses, obstructing a House Intel Committee investigation, whether or not the Trump campaign coordinated with Russia in the 2016 election. Stand by. Back to David Spine outside the courthouse. David. Hey, guys. Hey. Bill, Roger Stone is guilty on all counts, all seven counts. We just got that word from inside the courtroom. Roger Stone guilty on all counts. We're talking about witness tampering. We're talking about lying to Congress, making false statements in front of Congress. Guilty on all seven counts. The jury came in about five or six minutes ago. The foreman announced they had a verdict. Now, it's not clear if Roger Stone will be taken into custody today. That's unlikely to happen considering his past. He has no uh, criminal past, so it's likely there will be sentencing uh, that will happen down the line. That could be something that could happen earlier in the year. We're told that uh, Roger Stone's attorneys will be appealing this. They're saying they're going to be appealing this. But right now, we can tell you counts one through seven, which include making false statements in front of Congress, also witness tampering, guilty on all counts. Back to you, Bill. David, thank you. So he's not, you heard, he's not guilty, again, not guilty of of being involved with Russian agents and and um, and espionage with uh, Julian Assange, the publisher. None of those things are true. All he's guilty of is is flapping his lips, right? Flapping his mouth, spooing his mouth in front of Congress, lying and intimidating witnesses. That's what he's guilty of, right? It's just scum, right? Thank you. So essentially lying and found guilty. David, thank you. In front of Congress and found guilty also... Yep, absolutely. Also, yeah, witness sorry tampering. Sorry about that bit of an interruption there on the microphone. I apologize. David, stand by. No worries. Outside the courthouse. Thanks. Andy McCarthy still with us. Andy, if you could now react now that all seven counts are in, found guilty on all seven. Yeah, well, frankly, I, I think this was a slam dunk case on Stone all along in terms of the obstruction. Uh, some of the witness intimidation was in texts that were that were fairly explicit, as I recall it. Uh, and it didn't seem like he would 
have much of a plausible defense on that. Uh, I have the um, I have the indictment. We'll we'll just uh, look at the indictment briefly after this. Uh, after this, and the fact that he didn't testify at the trial may have been some indication that he recognized the strength of the evidence against him and didn't want to take the the step of potentially giving testimony that would cause the judge to increase his sentence under the sentencing guidelines, which they can do if you're likely to be convicted and you give testimony that the, the court decides uh, goes crossways from what the facts show. So, so you're it, saying you know, no it was surprise, Andy, in this? Well, I think it was a pretty straightforward case. I mean, once you, once you take the collusion part of it, which was, as far as the country was concerned, the collusion part was the important and consequential part. Um, the, the, the interference in the investigation was of course important and significant but more significant to stone and it always looked like a these guys think they're above the law right that's that was him and and uh alex jones back in 2016 they thought they were invincible right? that's the problem right they had a they had big mouths they they're they're big showy big showy guys right and uh we haven't heard from trump what is trump going to do about this is, is roger stone going to get pardoned but that's what Roger Stone is guilty of. Roger Stone is guilty of, of a, l flapping his lips and lying and making up these stupid conspiracies, these stupid stories that 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 go down. You know these uh, Republican, I guess, mostly right leaning news outlets about. Oh, we got the inside scoop. That's what it is, man. They fuck themselves, right? That's what it is. Very very strong case on on that part of Would it. Would you expect an appeal? Well, they always appeal. Yeah. They have a they have a constitutional right to appeal. I wouldn't expect an appeal that would succeed. Andy, thank you. Dana Perino, reaction here in New York. Um, of course, I would defer to the legal expertise of Andy McCarthy, but one thing that happened this week, this trial was actually pretty quick. Uh, they did not put Roger Stone on the uh, witness stand, and I think that was probably for reasons because um, they maybe expected this result. Um, and I think also the other thing that's going to happen out of this is that there might be an appeal. But Roger Stone has been very clear that he's been uh, do, out doing fundraising appeals. It's not easy to try to fund a legal defense. And he's been having to have a legal defense uh, for quite a long time to go into an appeal now. He'll, he'll have to redouble his efforts. But there weren't a lot of people in this last week that were coming to his defense. Um, even in the court of public opinion, uh, not even, you know, regardless of what was happening inside the courtroom, it doesn't seem like he's a man with many friends at the moment. Um, of course, uh, be fa being found guilty this quickly, the jury turned this around very fast. And of course, it's a Friday. Jurors yeah. often like to go home uh, after, <laughs> so that they don't have to come back after a weekend. Um, so the fact that it turned around that quickly, I think that guilty on all seven counts was to be expected. Deliberations yesterday, six hours, wrapped it up. Five or six hours, yeah. Uh so there you have it. Roger Stone, that's the uh, that's Fox News' report, right? And uh, you remember this? So let's just watch this. this is cool. Watch the impeachment hearing with six voters oh, who are undecided about 2020. Oh, Do you no, think no, that no, no. this day was pro Hold on a second. It is, I want to show you this other video. You remember, you remember when they uh, invaded his house? They invaded his house. The FBI surrounded his house. They embarrassed him. He said, I, I can't find it. But you remember he said, oh, what an embarrassment. What an embarrassment. Oh, here it is. Here it is. I will plead not guilty to these charges. I will defeat them in court. Here's where they arrested him. He said, oh, they're trying to embarrass me. I didn't do it. I am falsely accused of making false statements during my testimony to the House Intelligence Committee. Still lying. <laughs> Sorry, still lying. That is incorrect. Any, uh, any error I made in my testimony would be both immaterial and without intent. It's entirely possible that I've been framed, but I'm highly confident that I've violated no laws. So Robert Mueller, there he is, man. Robert Mueller wins, right? Robert Mueller is the guy who brought these uh, 
these allegations against Roger Stone, right? This is it's actually an assault on the media, right? Because they know, right? These guys, a lot of them, and a lot of them in the truth of community, they are unable to shut their mouth, right? If you poke at them, they they just start spewing all these crazy conspiracy theories uh, all over the place, and that's really what Roger Stone is guilty of. He's he's guilty of whipping up conspiracy theories and then walking into courts of law in front of Congress. And lying. Ah, that's what it is, man. That's how they got him. And it has nothing to do with Russians and Russia Gate, right? So here's the indictment, right? So uh, it just it is a 24 page indictment. This was put out uh, a while ago against um, the grand jury. You know, grand jury uh, found these indictments. And it basically, again, the, the time frame is very clear. On or about June 14th, the DNC through Company One, that's uh, CrowdStrike. Uh, publicly announced that it had been hacked by Russian government actors. <laughs> That's in June, but in May, that the DNC reported that the that they were uh, there was some kind of computer intrusion. Ah, who even knows, right? So May, it could have been April, it could have been March, April, May. They don't know, but right around May, DNC looked up and said, "Oh shit." Oh shit! They got our emails, right? And then, and in they paid off CrowdStrike to say that it was Russia in June two thousand, in June fourteenth, two thousand sixteen. All right, July leading into the Democratic convention, WikiLeaks dumps the whole pile of shit, whole pile of shit on top of the DNC's head, dumped it right on Hillary Clinton's fucking ugly head, right? Remember, and um. And from there, right, that's when from at or around July through November, um, right, that's, that's when, that's when uh, WikiLeaks was dumping, right? But Roger Stone, enter Roger Stone, between um, October and November, nonetheless, it, I, I don't know the exact time frame, but the point is that after the fact, after the fact, that's when... Once WikiLeaks did the dump, that's when Roger Stone and, and Jerome Corsi and all the all the, the quote truthers were spinning this bullshit around saying, Oh, we you know, WikiLeaks, we got the inside scoop. We know Julian, we've been there, we've been to the Ecuadorian embassy. Right? They were fucking lying. Right? That's, that was the that was the most distasteful part of it because it, it, it what it does is it shits on the actual the actual occurrences that happened. Right. What actually happened, again, was a very noble Seth Rich, a uh, gentleman who worked for the DNC, uh, was, was working for the DNC, and he saw the cheating going on. And, um, and uh, he, he knew that, uh, that they were, the DNC was rigging the election against Bernie Sanders in favor of Hillary Clinton. There was media collusion. They were communicating back and forth with uh, with uh, CNN through Donna Brazil, the then um, uh, chairman, right? just well, no, actually it was Debbie Wasserman Schultz. But they were they were communicating. There was overt cheating going on, and the patriot uh, Seth Rich, the real patriot, the the one who was backing the real uh, the real populist uh, threat, Bernie Sanders, um, released that information to the public through WikiLeaks. WikiLeaks, the publisher, published it. And um, and that's the real story. And these guys are hacks. Guys like Roger Stone is just a hack. He's in there spinning the story, and then he stuck to the story that he spun, the, the, the evil web that he spun, and then he walked into Congress and tried to perpetrate that lie. I tried to, try to say, try to inject himself into the story after the fact. But again, anybody paying attention, anybody who 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 knew the story knew that not only did Russia have nothing to do with it, but the Republican hacks surrounding Donald Trump had absolutely nothing whatsoever to do with uh, the the release, firstly, the capturing of the information and the release of that information through WikiLeaks. And the, 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 the most profound part of the story is that none, <clears throat> at, at no point does uh, Julian Assange get a, a, a chance to to tell us the truth. At no point do any of these courts call in Julian Assange. 
right? because Julian Assange has been smeared the Russian agent, and all because of one fact right? that, has, that, that has become the ultimate lie, that on June 14th, through a company, publicly announced that it had been hacked by Russian government actors. And that, that, <coughs> that company is CrowdStrike in June 14, 2016, paid for by the DNC, paid for by Hillary Clinton and the Clinton Foundation and all their billions of dollars and all their million millionaires had to pin the cheating on the Russians. And that is the story of Russiagate. Right, so Roger Stone takes a hit, not for, not for the team really, but he just choked himself on his own stupidity in my view. Right? Will Trump pardon him on the way out? <clears throat> well, if Trump... If Trump's reelected in 20, you know, 2020, uh, Roger Stone could be sitting in jail for a long time, right? Who knows, you know? He could pardon him. Usually presidents pardon uh, people like Roger Stone and uh, criminals on the way out, not during their presidency. So Marcus Conti reporting on this uh, breaking news about uh, Roger Stone, right? And uh, no Russian collusion, no, no Russian intervention, no ties whatsoever to WikiLeaks. All he's guilty of is lying his ass off. Marcus Conte reporting.